Hi and welcome back to Anti Hospitals video and today we'd like to talk about another interesting topic on the treatment of another rare disease that affects quite a number of people worldwide where there is no effective solution. This disease is known as MRKH syndrome. Now we've already covered this topic but today uh, we'd like to share on our new innovation on this treatment because in the medical field there's always innovation there's always better things to, uh, better techniques better treatments for the same diseases and today we'd like to discuss with you and also let all patients suffering from this disease give them hope let them know that there is actually an effective treatment method so for those who are unfamiliar MRKH syndrome is a disease where there is an absence or missing uterus and uh, vaginal canal so there is a lack of these two organs of the reproductive system and it is a congenital disease these women are born with it and as a result they will have primary amenorrhea which means they do not have any menses no menstruation at all uh, at the age of puberty this is already a clear indication when it comes to diagnosis there's no menst uh, menstruation despite their sexual characteristics, secondary sexual characteristics being uh, normal, which means they have developed breasts and then they also have pubic hairs, but they do not menstruate. So this is a clear indication of a potential MRKH. However, if to go for one step uh, closer on the accurate diagnosis, you will need to go for an imaging. And then there was, you will see a clear absence of these two organs. Now, in our understanding over the past year dealing with these uh, patients, uh, these types of conditions, because at Anti Hospital we've already dealt with over 5,000 uh, clinical cases of MRKH we've treated to these patients. Now, our understanding uh, with this uh, disease is much more mature now. We have realized that these patients, they're not actually missing these organs these organs are only abnormally displaced which means they are not in the correct location very likely these patients 99 percent of them they have the tissues and the compositions that require to make a uterus and a vaginal canal even the endometrium the muscle tissues the connective tissues involved but it's only misplaced so these tissues in a way they have lost their way that's why they are not lacking anything. We simply need to help them rearrange, reconstruct this uh, uterus and vaginal canal. So that's why our treatment here at Anta Hospital, which is the most effective treatment by far compared to any other alternative, is that our doctors here, with their years of experience and 5,000 clinical uh, cases done here at Anta Hospital, uh, we need to use laparoscopic techniques and go into the pelvic cavity to the reproductive system and accurately determine where exactly these tissues are displaced to because they are definitely within the region it's just that they are not visible to uh, in, in imaging and also they're not present in the normal location but they're usually within the region somewhere on the pelvic wall underneath, underneath the pelvis bone uh, behind the uh, uh, intestines in the abdominal cavity these are all possibilities because we've already seen them ourselves now one thing that we want to mention is that they may or may not have the endometrial tissue because some patients they do have endometrial tissue and that's a plus because this type of patients once we locate it we reconstruct the uterus and the vaginal canal they don't need to go for actually uh, IVF they can actually get pregnant they can get regular menstruation because of the presence of their own endometrial tissue. However, there are some MRKH patients who don't have this endometrial tissue. Either it's missing or it was not be, uh, able to be found or they never had it in the first place. So we can still reconstruct the uterus, we can still reconstruct the vaginal canal without any mold required. So you don't need to wear any uh, plastic mold to keep the shape. We can do the entire reconstruction surgery at the hospital. But this type of patient, they need to go for assistive reproduction because they don't have the endometrial tissue. These patients, 9 out of 10 times, they all have vaginal mucosal membranes and vaginal tissue and compositions. The only thing that we are concerned about is that the, they may be missing the endometrial tissue, but there are solutions to, 
to that as well as I've mentioned the tool. First of all, if you do have it, that's good news. You don't need any assistance. You can have menstruations and healthy pregnancies. Those who don't have it can go for assisted reproduction. So this condition, uh, it doesn't affect many women, but there are several thousand cases all over the world and they are not seeing effective management. Many of them are already abandoned hope on getting married, starting a family. So at here at the hospital, we want to share our message. We also need your help to spread our videos to these patients, these MRK patients. Let them know that there is hope and there is treatment available. We do not know, we no longer need to transplant tissue from their mother or take uh, intestinal mucosal tissues to transplant into the uterus to reconstruct we do not need that anymore because now we understand these tissues are present but they are simply misplaced so this is definitely a big step forward for uh, patients uh, suffering from mrkh and anti-hospital now offers this treatment with a full refund guarantee after the treatment you are guaranteed to have a reconstructed vagina and uterus if you go to any other hospital and you go for a ultrasound if there's if they say there is no presence of uterus or uh, vaginal canal then we offer you full refund guarantee and upon recovery you too can go for healthy pregnancies all of this is possible at our hospital so if you are interested please get in touch with us and let us discuss more on how to get you this treatment today stay tuned to the next one